Hey everyone, this is Mirabil Malik from Armstrong and today we are going to be looking at how you can change iTunes backup library location in Windows 10. Let's get started. So first of all, you need to open my computer, then C drive or your system drive, then users, then the user you're signed into. Then when you get over here, what you need to do, you need to click on view, then options, then view, then show hidden files and folders, apply. Okay, now app data, now roaming, now Apple computer, now mobile sync, and here lies all the backups of your iPhone or Apple devices. Yeah, so as you can see over here, so what you need to do now is rename this folder. So let's do that old and yeah now you need to get into the location where you want your backup files to be since you're changing the backup location so in our case I'm going to do that in a drive so I already have a backup folder I will delete that now let's create a new folder over here let's name it backup and you have to make it just like this no misspell or anything like that now you have a folder in another drive called backup what you have to do now is you have to open command prompt so there are plenty of ways you can do that you can s click on search CMT that's how you can open command prompt or you can press window plus R key so write CMT and then press enter and that's how you can do that so yeah <coughs> what you have to do now is you need to create a link between C drive and H drive and whenever the software calls for backup folder it will send the files in C drive to the backup folder and then this link will send them to H drive what you need to type is mklink forward slash capital J and now double quotation sign and now you have to enter the location of the backup folder and your system drive you can press click over here and select all and control C then back over here and control V what you did is you copied the link and you paste it in the command form now again a backslash no, type backup. No double quotation ends, space double quotation start. Now the location of the other drive. So the same process. And double quotation ends. As you can see, what we did mk link forward slash capital J. A junctional link is being created. Oh. I just missed spells. Yeah, MK link forward slash J and the location of the original folder and the location where you want your link to be. Yeah. When you type backup, double quotation ends. And yeah, that's a quote. I will also give it in the down description. Now press enter. As you can see, the junction created for C drive, blah blah blah, and to H drive. Yeah. Now a link is created. Whatever I do over here will happen over here. So, yeah, that's how you save space in your computer. Now, when I back up my phone, back up now, and it should do the backup yeah as you can see I backed up my iPhone and it's in a drive so what is happening right now is the software gets into the system drive and the backup folder and what it can see is it's still in the backup location but 
when it sends the files to the backup folder it will send them to each drive in the backup folder yeah so that's how you do it i hope that helps if yes don't forget to like subscribe and share this is me robin manik from our drawers signing out and if you have any questions just ask me in the comment section down below and i will try my best to help you